What's up, reality heads? It's your boy Albert from the Keep It Real blog on FoxReality.com. And on the line, I've got the band Day 26 from MTV's Making the Band. Can you let us know uh, where the name Day 26 came from? The finale last year was held on August 26. Um, that day for us was a day that changed our lives. That day was uh, a day that basically kind of made us official bad boys. Um, what roles do each of you guys play in the group? I think, to speak to everybody, I think we all, all we all play like similar roles at different times. We all, were, he picked five lead singers to be in the group and the roles switched every time. If something wrong with Brian, like I can step in and help Brian today. If something's wrong with Rob, the roles can switch. We all are at a mature level where we can help each other. So I don't think there's any individuality like that. I think we all play different roles different days. Nice, nice. Kind of like a like when you guys sing and you harmonize. You feel like the group kind of just harmonizes with your personalities as well. The notes that we sing and we sing harmony, it do kind of work like like that. You know, everybody's personality comes out in their in their voice and in their parts they sing. So yeah, it does. So like within the show, then how do you feel about the balance? of like the drama that the show shows as well as the actual work that you guys are doing within the studio. You know what, I think I think MTV do a really good job with the editing because they show just enough drama to keep everybody that's really interested in the music part just interested in the TV. They, they put just enough drama on the show to keep those people interested and they put just as much just as much into the music part of it, enough to keep the people that's listening for that interesting. You know what I mean? So I think it's a, I think it's a perfect balance. That's why um, the show was rated one of the highest, well, the highest show. Greatest show on MTV history, period. How do you guys cope with such, you know, with criticism when people try to come up against you and say, okay, well, you know, these group of guys, like, they don't have anything to complain about. They're on a reality show. Like, they didn't have to go about things the hard way, yada, yada, yada. Rumors are starting. People are writing on blogs, like that sort of thing. Um, and you know, we used to read the blogs, but I don't pay attention to it anymore because the, they're like crazy. Like, people come up with all kind of crazy stories about you, and it's like, if you give it power, and, and feed into it, they, it can, if you don't, if you're not strong, it can put you down. So I don't really pay attention to blogs. So I don't really pay attention to none of that. Like I don't let negative energy come in, in my way. Uh, we haven't really talked about Diddy much during this interview, um, and that's because it's about you guys. But since your boss does have his hands in so many other things, like he's got music, he got Broadway, film, fashion, and all of that, do you feel as though uh, it's a competition just to get attention from him to make sure that this album is tight? Uh, no, because I mean, honestly, he was he was very very much involved in the album. Uh, he really didn't really pass anything or clear anything until. He was okay with it, so um, um, we we really didn't fight for his attention. You know, I mean, he was very hands on. We know that the album drops on March the twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. We want everybody to go out and support Day Twenty Six and cop that album on March twenty fifth. And what you can expect from Day Twenty Six is nothing but great, great history making music for years to come. Perfect. Well, Mike, Willie, Brian, Q, Robert, thanks so much for uh, for going through this with me. I think we got some good stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. God bless. All right, you too.